Ahoy, this is Ozdenka. Zuyan came out with a brand new product. This is selfie stick slash gimbal. It is stabilized selfie stick. This product is geared towards younger generation, towards social media. If you are a serious filmmaker, this might not be the product for you, but if you have at home teen or you have a loved one you would like to buy a gift for and you want to get them into the world of gimbals, this might be quite an affordable gift. Now, is this any good? I'm curious myself. I want to test it out because it's got only two axes. I want to see the stabilization. Let's do this. And for the new faces, welcome. My name is Zdenka Darula. If you want to learn how to take better photos and videos with the latest gear and possibly participate in creative camera challenges, consider subscribing. Let's start with a disclaimer. This is not a sponsored video. However, Zuyan provided this product for a review. The packaging is quite nice. What you get inside is the gimbal, tripod, wrist strap, pouch, charging cable, manual, and other goodies. When you hold the gimbal, you can tell it is super light. It is made of plastic. The weight is 250 grams. Maximum payload is 235 grams. And here are the measurements. Battery USB-C charging port is right here. It has 1000 milliampere hour battery. So once you fully charge it, it will last about four hours, hmm. which is not too much. Maximum is 5.5 hours according to manual, which is not again too much. Charging time is three hours and you can operate it in the weather ranging between minus 10 to plus 45 degrees. The gimbal is in the lock position. How do we unlock it and attach the phone? Very simply, this part needs to be pulled up. There are ports at the bottom which need to be connected. So pull it up all the way until it clicks. The top part is locked right now. So turn it to unlock and the bottom part is locked as well. So you need to turn that as well. So the buttons are facing you. The phone clamp is very tight. I'm actually finding that I have to really put a lot of strength to put my phone in it. Now on my phone, I have very thin case. It's the moment case and I have a smaller phone, iPhone 11 Pro. So once I attach the phone in, see, and I do have to work really hard to put it in, that it holds very well. I would not recommend big case. I would just recommend to actually take off the case for the best fit. Now, it is a good thing that it is holding very tight because you're not gonna lose the phone. But on the other hand, yeah, it is very difficult to put it in. To balance it better, I'm going to attach the tripod and you're just gonna move the phone to the right and left until it's perfectly balanced like that and you're ready to go. Before you turn it on for the very first time, make sure that you have ZY Kimi app installed on your phone and make sure your Bluetooth is enabled. The power button is here on the top part. So once you press that, then you will turn it on. Also make sure that you go to ZY app first because you're not going to be able to use it. You have to open up an account. You have to register yourself. And then the first thing you should do is update your firmware. Before I show you all about the app, let's look at the buttons. Let's look at the gimbal one more time. And it's got typical record button here, joystick right here, mode button here, and zoom on the side. That's it, very simple. The zoom button is very responsive and it just works very nicely. So let me zoom all the way and you can see that it goes quite quick. And let me zoom out. Here we go. The way you work your gimbal is with obviously with the joystick. If you press left, then the phone is going to turn left. If you press joystick to the right, then the phone is going to turn to the right. Now, if you press the joystick upwards, you are going to turn the spin, uh, the roll motor counterclockwise. If you are going to press the joystick down, you're going to spin it clockwise. There is really no recenter button on the gimbal. So what I find I'm doing, I just press the M button. It is going to switch the mode, but it will also recenter the gimbal. When you press the M button one time, you can switch between two modes. One is pan follow mode. When just a pan is available. And when I press it one more time, then I get to lock mode. There is also pan roll following mode available. That can be changed though in a ZY Kemi app. 
When you have it sit on a table like this, you just have it straight up. If you want the phone a bit higher, all you have to do is extend the selfie stick. It's a little bit higher, harder to put it up. Now, once it is up, if you need a little bit better angle, you need it a little bit tilted towards you, all you have to do is just pull the phone towards you. So this is quite useful if you are just walking around and um, recording yourself. And we know the best angle a little bit from the top down and a little bit to the side. So that's how it's used. And if you don't need it anymore like that, just make it straight and bring it down. One thing I just noticed that if you are closing the selfie stick, you can't do it this way because this part got already disconnected on me three times. And then I had to connect the port and turn it on. So when you are closing the selfie stick, you really just have to put your fingers here in the front and push it down. What does app offer? You can film in automatic or manual mode on Apple. You can film in 24, 30 and 60 frames per second in 4K, 1080p and 720p. Now, I'm not too sure about Android. That might be different. I actually read that it offers only 30 frames per second. Next, we have Glamour Effect, which is not supported if you film in 4K or 60 frames per second. So you can only do that in 1080p, 720p, in 24 and 30 frames per second. The beauty effect is quite complex, so you can choose from many settings to make yourself slimmer, have bigger eyes, smoother skin, and all that. Next, we have gimbal settings, where you can change video settings, gimbal settings, and general settings. Let's get to actual filming and let's start with the stabilization test. First, I'm going to be just walking normally, the heavy foot. Then I'm going to go as a ninja, I'm going to go soft into my knees and just really, really soft walk. And the last one will be full speed run. Now, keep in mind that this is two axis gimbal. So obviously the footage will not be as stable as you would get it with the three axis gimbal. If you look at the right side of the app, first we have hyperlapse available, time lapse, slow motion, one eighty degree panorama, video, photo. You can live stream or use smart, which is also called stories on other gimbals. Just select preferred template you like, follow the steps and it will help you record and edit video with music, transitions and all that ready to post on your social media. There is a lot of these graphics also in them, so it clearly shows it is mainly geared towards the younger crowd and I would even say women mainly. When you record, you can lock exposure focus. To lock it, simply tap and hold. The square jumps up a few times and that is when I notice it gets locked. There is also follow feature. Just drag on the screen to select face and the gimbal will follow you. If you go to the main area of the app, you can edit your video there. You can also become a premium member. You can pay for that part where you can access further editing templates. The app has also gesture control. It's just right here. You press it. Uh, it starts identifying gesture. You turn it off. What this app doesn't have is that you cannot switch lenses if you have multiple lenses on your phone. However, if you close the ZY Kimi app and go to native camera app, you will be able to switch obviously lenses there. You will be able to film there. Also, the buttons will work. You can start recording, stop recording. You can switch mode. So if I press M, I'm in a lock position. If I press M one more time, I'm in a pan follow mode. The only thing is not gonna work is zoom though. You cannot zoom here. But I also noticed that if I went to native camera app first before I even open up ZY Cami, then I was not able to work the gimbal. You simply need to go first to ZY Cami app um, to enable all that and then you can close the app it will it will work in native camera app 
So what do I think? Well, I think that a lot of young generation which love social media will really enjoy this, especially women. Uh, they're going to have a lot of fun with this. What I didn't like about it was the fact that I have to register the account and put a lot of info there. And also I didn't like the fact that I have to open up a membership to get the further editing options there. Also, I didn't like the fact that it's got only maximum four hours lifetime battery and you have to charge it for three hours. But what I liked on the other hand is the app. The app has everything like all the other gimbals have. Uh, pretty much. It's got a lot of options there. I also like the fact that once I got out of the ZY Kemi app and I went to native camera app on the phone, I could actually switch between the modes on the gimbal. I could use the ultra wide angle lens and I didn't see the motor in the shot. That's a huge bonus. Very rare. Again, it is not really for serious filmmaking. It is marketed very well for social media. For those who are interested to see the pricing, international link can be found below the video in the video description. Hit the thumbs up if you like today's video and subscribe to all future videos like these. If you have any questions, comments, simply want to say hi or ahoy, you know what to do. You can leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you my friends in the next video. Ciao, ahoy.